It is still unclear tonight what led up to the shooting death of a three year old this morning. Police have released very little information about what happened. What we do know is the little boy's mom drove him to the Medical City Hospital in North Dallas. The boy had been shot in the head. Fox Force David Centendry live in Dallas tonight with a look at what we know. David. Yes, Stephen Heather, police responded to a nearby park for a shooting call this morning, and then eight minutes later, a mother showed up to this hospital with her child in the vehicle shot in the head. Dallas police say a mother brought her three year old son to the Medical City Dallas emergency room with a gunshot wound to his head Monday morning. The child died from his injuries. I can't fathom that for my own family and to, and to think of it happening in such a violent way, I think makes it even that much more traumatic. Many unanswered questions. For now, police are interviewing the boy's mother. It appears they are not looking for anyone else. And the department did not issue any public safety alerts. Police blocked off a car outside the hospital, appearing to be at the center of the the investigation. Detectives took photos before it was towed away. When I think of stuff like that, you know, I think of my child. Think about if it was your kid. How can you prevent it from happening, you know? Prentice Darden was near Timberleaf Park Monday when he says he heard the shooting. Dallas PD responded to this scene, but they haven't confirmed where the child was shot or how. We can hear children's voices outside playing in the background, and that's the neighborhood that I'm used to. Aaron Thomas Green, a grandfather who lives near the park, says the violent loss is heartbreaking. And that hasn't been the story of my neighborhood. A place where they kind of come together to have a good time and be safe and play outside. I'm a little more nervous now. Again, police are interviewing the mother at this time. It does not appear that they are looking for anyone else, but again, the details of the shooting are very murky at this point in time. We'd like to point out that no names have been released, which is standard at this point in most investigations, especially with the victim being a minor and no one being charged again for now. Steve, Heather, back to you.